guys what is up welcome back to my channel so I have not made an OnlyFans video in probably like I think the last time I made one of these videos was like July so quite a lot of time has passed and I feel like I definitely have a lot more information to share and I'm more comfortable in what I do and more comfortable in knowing how to work it and how to really give people advice on it quick little disclaimer I don't think anybody should do this just anybody I think a lot of people have really hopped on the train and then I've seen a lot of people quit because it's not something that they want to do or something that they like please don't make it only fans if you are not mentally ready and um, can actually handle what comes with sex work that's what it is at the end of the day you can do other things on there you don't have to do that but that is what like probably 99% of the users on there use it for so do not start this unless you are fully ready you have researched a ton you know that this is something that can follow you into the future so really really put some thought into it so first thing I'm gonna say is grab out a pen and paper so I highly recommend that you take some notes don't forget these things they're very important don't forget to subscribe to my OnlyFans it's going to be at the top of my description and I'm also gonna put it in the comment section so just click that link it'll take you to my OnlyFans and you can subscribe for the lowest I've ever had it so my OnlyFans is only eight dollars you get 30 days worth of my content so I post daily so you're gonna get daily content plus access to like almost 600 posts which includes videos photos photos with my friends content with my boyfriend etc felt like I would give you guys my lowest sale today which is only eight dollars so click that link below sign up to my OnlyFans it's also good if you want inspiration and you want to see the kind of stuff that I post or of course if you're just like interested in my content so and you can also get like private messaging content with me it's a really easy way to contact me I literally reply to everybody or try it doesn't cost extra to message me I'm just like always in my inbox replying to you guys these are my tips on how I made a hundred thousand dollars last year these are good tips for you to get started and will help you out to maximize your money making on the website OnlyFans so my first tip is to make OnlyFans content on YouTube. I know what you're thinking, I'm not a YouTuber, I don't make YouTube videos. Obviously, if you are a YouTuber, it's very easy to just start, you know, making a video on OnlyFans or to make a little series on OnlyFans, but even if you're not a YouTuber, YouTube is like a search engine, so people are on YouTube looking for OnlyFans videos, people are looking for tips, people are looking for people reviewing people's OnlyFans and things like that, so your video has a high chance to come up even if you have like two subscribers, and I feel like that's just a good idea in in general whether it's tips whether it's a lingerie haul where you promote your only fans you can really do anything you can like vlog talk about how much you made um, talk about the experience would you recommend it I know not everybody can do that but that's just like one of the tips I wanted to say okay my second tip is I get this question all the time where can I promote what do I do how do I promote myself and basically skyrocket my only fans so the top two things that I always tell everybody is a not safe for work Twitter an NSFW Twitter and reddit OnlyFans promotion. So a not safe for work Twitter is a Twitter that's not like your regular Twitter. It's like kind of an anonymous Twitter. You don't have to even use your name. And then you can tag like hashtag OnlyFans, hashtag OnlyFans girl, hashtag, you know, whatever you're selling on there. If you're into like selling feed pics and stuff, you can put like hashtag that, you know, um, hashtag sugar daddy. I think that's like a really good way. And then you could just like post pictures on there that you wouldn't want to put on like your regular Twitter, right? Because like family could be on there, friends could be on there. So I feel like a little burner account for your OnlyFans on Twitter is amazing because Twitter is one of the best places to promote your OnlyFans and it's probably always going to be that way so I would highly recommend that. Obviously promote on your regular Twitter if you're down for that but if you're like not down for that which a lot of people aren't then just do that. There's a subreddit is that what it's called? Called OnlyFans Promotions and girls and boys everybody by the way girls and boys can do OnlyFans I'm not just talking to girls obviously I'm a girl so I have more experience being a girl on OnlyFans this advice is truly for everybody but yeah girls and guys promote themselves all over OnlyFans Promotions and I've known Notice that it kind of works it's like good definitely if you're starting off um, it's a good way to get promo promote yourself everywhere though like seriously wherever you're willing to promote yourself promote the crap out of yourself I say that when people ask for advice on YouTube and I say that when people ask for advice on OnlyFans but I know OnlyFans is something where you probably don't want to promote that like everywhere because of family and friends but seriously promote yourself as much as you possibly can because that's really the only way people are gonna see you and like want to subscribe is if they like see you promoting it you know you can't just like hide it also another really great thing that you can do is join retweet groups on Twitter sometimes 
sometimes they have like follower limits you have to have like a certain amount of followers sometimes it's just literally anybody um, but if you find like like-minded people and um, people that do OnlyFans as well a lot of times they'll know of like a good retweet group where you all just like post your new promotions in like a Twitter group and then you all like retweet each other basically hustle do not think of this as a little side job unless you want to make the money of a little side job if you want this to be your full-time job and you want to make good amount of money on it you got to hustle you got to post daily honestly I mean you don't have to it's a lot and a lot of people don't they still make great money and everything's fine I personally post daily because I want my subscribers to have something to see every day that's just kind of what I choose to do and so how I've definitely seen my money grow is like once I started posting daily so I mean I would recommend posting daily obviously it's hard it's a lot of work to have a piece of new content every day but mind you obviously it's not gonna be a different outfit every day it's gonna be photos from the same photo shoot just on like different days and like mixed in with each other if you can even multiple times a day that's great but also even just multiple times a week is good just don't be the person that posts maybe like once a month I feel like you'll just easily lose subscribers that way and people will lose interest because they're just forgetting about you you know and there's so many other people posting so often there's so much competition on this website now because there's so many people joining it that you want to stand out you know so I would say post as much as possible and you know they're paying for a service they're paying a subscription just like Netflix and things like that so you need to provide you can't just like be lazy about it you know okay so once you make your profile you show them your ID that's how they verify it's you you put in your social because obviously you're gonna have to pay taxes on this money and everything and then you add a profile pic add a really good header my header is specifically me like bending over it's my booty because my booty is like my best asset <laughs> so choose your best asset and put that as your header because it's a good like foreshadowing of what you're gonna see on your page and obviously a super cute and sexy profile picture because you want to really engage people and also make your bio because they can see a bio before um, they subscribe like a lot of what they're gonna see or how much you charge for things or what they're gonna get you know just basically simple and then that really like engages people to subscribe so once you're on your OnlyFans whether you haven't even posted on it or you have already there's something you can do called queuing your content and this is everything so once you go to make a post on your OnlyFans and you're ready say I want to make a post for March 15th then I would click the little icon and I click the date and then I set the time and then I just press post and it won't post it now it won't post it in the moment it'll set it for that time on March 15th so I like to always post at 9 a.m. I don't know why I post every single day at 9 a.m. it's just my thing it's what I like to do instead of like stressing yourself out and finding something to post every day and like working every day you can literally just like queue your content um, up to however long you want you could queue your content for months you could queue your content for a year um that is my favorite thing to do right now I'm queued out like a month and a half but I have more content today that I'm gonna be taking with my friends so I plan to obviously like mix that all in and obviously as I go I'm gonna always continuously take content so it'll just like I'll always be ahead of the game the main thing I have to do is just like go on and reply to my messages of course because I want to reply to my subscribers but literally queuing your content is everything you guys it's just so simple or you can draft it as well you can just draft content if you don't want to pick like a date and time yet you can just like have it ready to post in like a little area on your only fan so I want to reiterate make sure you're still going on the app as much as possible you want to be replying to your subscribers and like always engaging with them and um, seeing if they want to buy content etc it's never good to just like you know queue and then leave the app for a month because then your subscribers don't get to talk to you and whatnot you know and it's like not as special so do sales often if not 24 7 so sales you can always put on your only fans you have like an original price so my original price of my page which is like regular and it's monthly is $20 some people have theirs for 30 50 um, less than that it just depends I guess but mine specifically is 20 on the regular but I will always have a sale up um, to get people to come in um, instead of them seeing $20 they're gonna see eight dollars for their first 30 days and then if they want to renew it would be twenty dollars but sometimes I have the sale set up to where if people do want to renew it'll still be the sale price again I like to keep um, my price is down a little bit, but don't undervalue yourself. That's a huge thing Do not undervalue yourself or feel like you need to like set your page for $2.99 or but also in the same breath Don't overvalue yourself not that you could possibly overvalue yourself You are like incredibly valuable and you can decide you maybe you want to be freaking I don't know how much I think there's a limit there might be like a $50 subscription limit I'm not sure um, but like you can set it as high as you want obviously it's your body It's your content at the end of the day It's what you want to post and it's what you want to sell your stuff for that is completely understandable with 
with the competitive market to make the most money and to get the most people in you want to be reasonable with your pricing that's just my opinion like I said my OnlyFans right now is only eight dollars sometimes I had it for ten dollars but then like originally it's like 20 but you can also do sales where you can limit the amount of people that get it so it's exciting like oh there's only a hundred spots left and so people want to subscribe more you know I have mine like on an indefinite amount of subscribers so as many people possible that want to sign up under the eight dollars for me can do that so you can set it up like that as well pay-per-view messages is the biggest thing to take advantage of on OnlyFans. That is where your subscribers will pay to unlock your private content that costs a little bit more than just your regular subscription price and it's a really good way to make extra money. I'm always making money in my messages which is very important because if you try to rely on just your subscription price you're not going to make as much as you possibly can. Okay? So pay-per-views do not forget that. Obviously offer certain content on your page. I do nude and I do lingerie and I do just like sex whatever like I do kind of everything on my page um, but nude is probably like sprinkled in you know it's more so like sexy lingerie like maybe see-through whatever like but then if you want to go to my DMs I have like literally everything you could want and that's when I made a tip menu which is my other tip so make a tip menu so say you sell like what I sell on my page or you sell just lingerie and then in the DMs you want to sell more explicit content with your boyfriend girlfriend whatever yourself or stuff that you like would not just put on your page for anybody to see who signs up you want them to pay a little bit more because it's more exclusive me and my boyfriend have some explicit videos that we sell so you can go to my DMS and I will either send you the video for unlock for a certain amount of money um, I also price it pretty well like some of them are like $30 $40 $20 but or you can tip me so I'll send you my tip menu you can read through everything see which what you want they're all numbered and then they can be like okay I want number two and then I'll send number two for unlock or they can just tip me the amount for number two because I have the amounts next to the description um, and then I'll just send it either way but that is the way to do pay-per-views a tip menu is amazing it'll let your subscribers see everything that you have obviously put the title of it like a description and the cost that you charge for it um, and yeah that's like literally an amazing way to make money you're gonna want to absolutely do that and it doesn't have to be like anything crazy remember that it can literally just be whatever else you think is exclusive to you and like your page you know Okay, so this is so important and goes along with pay-per-view messaging. If you want to mass message all of your subscribers, this is literally a huge way we all make money. You're going to go to the messaging icon, which I have circled right there, and then you're going to go click the plus sign, and then once it takes you to that next screen, you're going to click fans, and you're going to select all the fans that you have, and then it's going to bring you to the place where you upload your picture or video and you put a price on it. The lowest price you can do is $3, the highest is $100, and then you just send the piece of content out to every single subscriber, and then it leaves it open for all of your subscribers to have the option to open that piece of new content or new video or whatever it is that you're sending out for that amount of money. Create an initial starting message. So every time someone subscribes to my page, they get a video and a little description, and it's just like a cute little sexy video. It's $10 to unlock it, and that's a good way for extra money as well. So you can do that with any kind of video you could do like a longer video and charge more you could just charge like five dollars for like whatever you want to say to them or whatever but it's a good idea to make your starting message and charge it does not have to be a lot if I was you like at least what I do I wouldn't charge like anything crazy for the starting message unless it's like something crazy but I think it should just be something like cute It'd probably be anywhere from five to ten dollars minus ten it's just a nice little welcome for your subscribers to see what they're gonna get you know and see what else they can purchase so the video of me the cute little video it's like that'll be like okay they want to see more and now they want to see the tip menu and now they want to buy more of my content you know always interact with your subs treat them as special as they are they are very special and they are valuable they're not just money don't see them as just dollar signs they are people that cared enough to subscribe to your page and honestly like literally 99% of the people have been extremely respectful and I feel like they're genuinely friends or like like I feel like they're all really good people they all respect me they all just want to see my content they all just want to know how I'm doing a lot of times I get so many like how are you messages like it's so cute obviously don't let anybody be disrespectful to you block them restrict them if they are I've never had to block or restrict anybody I don't think but a lot of people do um, because a lot of people do get like randomly disrespectful and like want to be all weird and stuff but 
but that's like never the case honestly i have like the best subscribers ever so if you're a subscriber of mine thank you for being like actually amazing make them feel good and don't just do it for money like genuinely do it because you want to do it genuinely talk to them because you want to talk to them don't just talk to them to get something out of them or just to get money from them or like charge them for this charge them for that like obviously you can offer up your tip menu or whatever but a lot of times they just want to talk you don't have to charge them for every message you don't have to charge them like super high you don't have to charge them like all this stuff like a lot of times i'll send like free content or if someone buys a lot i'll like discount all my content to them that they're buying because they're buying a lot like buying a bundle bottom line if you respect them they'll respect you collab as much as possible and stand out from the rest okay so collabing very important um i collab a lot with my best friend ali and it really helps us like not feel so bored like taking pictures by ourselves in our houses and it like allows us to really like help each other take photos and like get our good angles and um just like really feel cute and confident and like obviously people love to see people together like people love to see me and ali together whether it's like your friend or your significant other or whatever just like i don't know always find ways to collab or other people that do only fans a lot of times they'll want to like meet up and just collab it's not like you have to do anything like with that person that's like x-rated or whatever like you can if that's like your cup of tea or what you want to do or like the kind of person that you'd want to do that with but a lot of times like collabing can literally just mean like you guys looking sexy together like showing your booty or like showing these or whatever you know i don't know but definitely collab as much as possible and find like-minded people because it makes the experience way better <laughs> like me and ali did a drive with me last year you guys should definitely go watch that and um that was like great promo it was fun and it was just like memorable like now everyone loves like seeing us together and stuff on OnlyFans. so stand out from the rest i honestly say the best decision i made not just for OnlyFans, just in general was like dyeing my hair pink i love this color i just went for it because i was like i don't think it can hurt you know i don't think like dyeing my hair a crazy color that like not everybody has their hair is a bad idea especially for something like OnlyFans because there's always people like having a certain you know thing or like not like fetish but like there's certain people that are like okay like I've never been with a pink haired girl like let me go see her only fans or whatever you know I don't know maybe that sounds weird or like oh this girl like dresses differently or does different kinds of content or whatever like just be unique and be you obviously be you don't just like do crazy shit just to stand out it's obviously a very competitive website and competitive competitive market right now like so many people are joining this so like you want to give people a reason to subscribe to your page you know what i mean i've already kind of talked about this but do not make everything about money um personally i think do not charge your subscribers like up the to see your content um obviously charge whatever you think is good never undervalue yourself like obviously but you want your subscribers to return and that's gonna make you more money in the end but you're also being genuine about it like you want your subscribers to have a reason to keep subscribing because it's not breaking their bank or like absolutely crazy and you want to be offering stuff that they can't get somewhere else or like you want to be offering value like period so just be really careful with your pricing don't price it too high don't price it too low i think if you're like really fair with your prices you make more money this is another little promoting tip um search only fans on twitter and start liking people's tweets following them retweeting them who are talking about it or like maybe guys that are like ooh, i'm looking for a girl to subscribe to like like their tweets just like stuff revolving the topic because then like it just exposes your page more and you can do that on your nsfw twitter if you want to do that because that's like your promotion twitter and it probably makes more sense so that you get people clicking on your profile and then subscribing to your only fans so i would definitely like search keywords i'm just thinking twitter you could probably do that somewhere else but twitter and just like like all the tweets and stuff you know really like get your name out there like put yourself out there especially like if you have a niche too like if you're a guy like maybe look up like guy only fans stuff you know tweet and talk about only fans yourself if you are promoting on your nsfw twitter per se you could be like hey subscribe to my only fans sale is this amount and then put pictures of yourself or like a sexy video don't ever hold yourself back too much about talking about it and promoting yourself obviously don't overdo it because people will get annoyed especially if it's on like your regular twitter or something but like don't hold yourself back too much because that'll hold back your income sweetie okay this is a good one um i have a lot of girls free trials and they have mine um there's like mainly close friends and stuff but if you find like-minded people People or have friends that are doing this too share free trials so I gave like you know my best friend a free trial for a year and she gave it back so we can see each other's posts we can see everything each other posts which obviously decide if you're comfortable with that but it's people that I'm comfortable with I don't really care it's like I'm putting myself out there on the internet anyway might as well give some of these close friends a free trial and then they'll like my content a lot of times they'll comment on it and then I'll do the same to them so it actually raises your engagement on OnlyFans and when you like go to somebody's profile you can see you can decide 
side if you want people to see how many fans you have most girls don't show that because it's so up and down it's literally never get discouraged as well if like you go down or you're like dipping a lot and going back up don't feel discouraged like that's normal um but yeah a lot of girls like hide their fans everyone has their likes showing so that's kind of like a showing sign of like oh like if somebody goes on your page and sees like you have 100k likes they're gonna be like damn this must be a good page i'm gonna subscribe too i think i just hit over 30k likes i'm not 100 sure but it kind of helps people subscribe to your page if you have like good likes and engagement we basically keep each other's engagement up a little bit i mean not a lot i only have like a few people on mine and then i of course always like all my friends stuff so it just helps you know it's a good way to raise engagement and up your amount of likes so that when people go to your page they're like oh this must be a good page like they trust it a little bit more i guess you could say just psychology i guess i don't know <laughs> only do on camera what you are completely comfortable with please don't ever like do things on camera that you don't want because you want to make more money or because somebody asked you to or is like begging you to also it just like will in turn look more natural if you're being yourself and doing only what you're comfortable with once you feel forced to do something it's like it's just gonna come off forced and like unnatural and i think the best way to make money on this app is just to be you and only do what you're comfortable with because it'll just come across and then people will be like wow this is great and want to stay subscribed but if you're looking all scared and forced and whatever then don't do it spread out your content as much as you can i said this earlier but i use the same outfit a lot like I'll post uh, different kinds of photos some from the back some from the front um, different kinds of artsy looks with the outfit but I'll post it for like 15 different days I'll just spread it out you obviously don't want to post it in a row you want to mix different outfits in so there's a little bit of a difference you know obviously you don't want to be like too much of the same but you can definitely stretch out your outfits um, I think that's a good way for you to save money um, instead of buying outfits every week you know that's like a lot of money you can also do an Amazon wish list though where um, your subscribers you just post the link and then your subscribers can buy you things from the Amazon wish list so that's really cool that's a good way to get outfits for less money but obviously a lot of times like me and my friends we buy our stuff because not everybody's buying stuff from your Amazon wish list at all times so the best example I'm not trying to like literally get you to subscribe but literally go on my page and you'll see what I mean if you do want to subscribe or you want like an idea of what I mean like you'll understand like it's very spread out to where it's like it feels new but it's not like overextending myself with outfits you know that would just be crazy to get like a new outfit like every or new multiple outfits every week that just sounds crazy on the topic of outfits make sure you buy cute and flattering lingerie super super important there's a lot of times I have bought lingerie that like didn't look good and I'm just wearing my cute little thong and like a bra that like I wear every day and it like looks cuter because it's flattering I'm comfortable in it like don't buy uncomfortable things that make you feel not sexy don't buy things that don't flatter your certain body shape you know like I kind of need lift on these so I like to buy things that have like underwire or padding and stuff and I feel like that always makes me look the best like I said my booty is my best asset for sure places that I mainly buy mine is actually Amazon it's cheap it's affordable it's cute but they're not always the most flattering so if you do want to go to like some bougie lingerie shop and you have the money for that or you're feeling that like absolutely do it i've also gone to cute little boutiques before in my area and gotten lingerie and like halloween costumes that ended up being like hits on my only fans so you could definitely go to like local there's like a pink kitty boutique in my area um pink and naughty boutique or something i've just seen so many yeah you can go to like little lingerie stores or you could literally just go on amazon a lot of my friends i've never done this but they get their lingerie on shein oh and try to buy colors that really bring out like your skin tone and eye color and hair color i learned that with pink hair cool tones look really good on pink hair so I've been wearing a lot more cool tones or I just wear like white or black it just draws the eye because the eye is like attracted to that picture um if you say you have blue hair watching this um buy warm toned clothes like say you have blue hair buy like an orange red or something like something cool and you'll just like trust me it'll just like attract the eye and people will like love your content this is a big one please be careful where you post because a lot of social media places now are so strict I don't promote anywhere but Twitter if you post on snapchat and you link your only fans your account will get deleted and there is no way to get it back i never used snapchat like honestly since i met my boyfriend back in like 2017 i stopped using snapchat it was just like unnecessary i grew out of it but i did like post my youtube videos on it and stuff like that um, or and promote my youtube and then i went when i first started only fans and i had no idea and i went to promote my only fans my whole account immediately got deleted i tried to get it back they said there's nothing they could do and i was stuck with no snapchat so i made a new one and now i just don't even use it i'm just like 
I can't even log back in to my new one so I've totally quit snapchat deleted the app but I there is way like girls do private snapchats and that's like another way to make money so I don't have any info on that because I've never done that before I've never done a private snapchat so there's obviously got to be a way to do something like you can send people to your private snapchat I'm sure and then send them your Venmo or your cash app or your PayPal and then they can just like do it that way or something I don't know I've never done it so literally don't take any advice from me but I don't think that they're linking their OnlyFans because I think still to this day you just straight up get deleted so snapchat does not like it as well as instagram they've changed their rules um i barely promote on instagram anymore so many of mine and my friends stories and posts keep getting taken down um even if they're not even really remotely promoting OnlyFans. fans one of them was a screenshot of my sale like on my only fans page and it like didn't even have any sexy photos in it or anything but i linked to my only fans and they took it down i would not link to your only fans i would make a link tree very important it's l i I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash your username. So go to Linktree, the link that I just said, and go make yourself an account and you can add your, if you have YouTube or Instagram, TikTok, whatever, and then your OnlyFans. Put your OnlyFans at the top of your Linktree and that will be your new link thing. That'll be your new website slash bio so that you get in less trouble. Um, you can even, I don't know how to do this, but you can even change your Linktree like title to be like blah, 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 dot com. I don't know how to do that. It didn't work for me. Mine is just link tree slash Olivia Cara, which is fine. And that has not gotten me in any trouble. So put a link tree in your Instagram bio and that will be an amazing way to promote your OnlyFans and just put your OnlyFans at the top of your link tree. Literally do that. Do it ASAP. That's what you need to do. You're not going to be wanting to throw around www.onlyfans.com slash your thing because that's going to flag a lot of websites to like take your shit down, delete your account, whatever. You're going to want to put OnlyFans links as little in your bios as possible and revert to Linktree. That's why you see so many people using Linktree links because that's how they promote their OnlyFans. The places that are actually the most lenient, you'd be surprised, are YouTube. Surprising, right? And Twitter. And Reddit, of course. You do not need a platform, okay? A lot of people say, like, is it easier if you have a platform? Yes, obviously. It's easier, um, but you do not need one to rock the shit and make that money. I see so many people that do not have big YouTube platforms and things just, like, making bank, if not way more than me, and, like, having way more subscribers and they're just Instagram girls or Twitter girls. I mean, obviously you're gonna want to be on social media somewhere, but you don't have to be some big name or some big YouTuber or anything like that to make a lot of money. Trust me, you could literally be anybody. And if you rock that shit, you rock that confidence, you sell yourself, you put valuable prices, like you put good prices that people want to subscribe to your page for, you sell content that people are wanting and needing, you will get followers, um, but do not be afraid to promote yourself. That's the biggest thing. If you're just afraid to promote yourself, you're not gonna get anywhere. That is how I made over a hundred K last year. I actually got my 1099. I think they are when you're self-employed. I got my 1099 and I had made just over a hundred thousand dollars. So I can actually say I made six figures on OnlyFans last year and I'm very, very thankful for it. So thank you to everybody that subscribes and cares about my content. Um, it means so much and that could easily be you. So just listen to the tips. That was just like a basics, I think. So feel free to contact me like anywhere else if you want more advice or more tips on on how to grow so I will definitely put some more thought into this and if you guys do like this I could definitely think about making a part two so let me freaking know I would love to the easiest way to contact me is obviously subscribing to my OnlyFans and messaging me but also um, I do regularly check my Instagram DMs kind of so I would definitely try to hit me up on like Instagram or something or my OnlyFans of course so do not forget to subscribe to my OnlyFans guys the link will be in the comments and in the description eight dollars it could change at any moment I don't know so get in while it's cheap you get 30 days and access to all of my posts that's amazing i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i hope it helps some of you i don't do promo right now i don't do pay for promo or anything like that so i probably won't be doing that if i do obviously i will let you guys know but i'm not right now so i don't want to let any of you down um before you guys ask so i don't really do that i like to do more genuine collabs and like genuine stuff and not like feel like i'm just promoting somebody because they paid me and stuff i don't ever ask for payment or anything like that but thank you guys for watching i love you so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys